Yep, you can get this baller of a full PC gaming setup for just $400. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. In today's video, we're talking about everything you're seeing on the screen now, including that gaming PC, and this comes out to be quite a good looking $400 gaming PC setup. I'm gonna quickly review all of these peripherals, go over what's all inside this gaming PC that I do have a dedicated video on, everything is linked down in the description, but all of that after a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by MMORC.com, a key reseller website that I teamed up with because they're offering the cheapest Windows 10 keys that I've seen so far, as well as a ton of other software keys. MMORC is offering you guys a super exclusive sale on the Windows 10 keys. Click that first link in the description and select add to cart, click place order, paste in the exclusive AF coupon code ZAH35, and that'll give you a massive 35% discount dropping the price to under $10. After that, select your payment method and complete your order. Once you get the key, click start on your PC and type in activate, press enter, change product key, paste in the key, and there you go, activated Windows 10 for less than 10 bucks. Once again, feel free to head down to the links in the description and use that exclusive 35% off coupon code ZAH35. All right, so jumping straight into it, let's start with the mouse because this is what I've been personally the most excited about to get on camera. This is the MSI Clutch GM08 and I didn't realize until I bought this that MSI released quite a few options for budget gaming mice just like this one in the middle of last year. This GM08 is the cheaper $20 option and it's rocking a 4200 DPI optical sensor and it even has a weight system that allows the mouse to go between 92 and 103 grams. It's actually made of pretty decent build quality for the price. It's definitely some cheap plastic, but it's a smooth and heavier type plastic and not that super lightweight plastic type like you'll sometimes see on a Habit or Red Dragon budget mouse. I actually had some pretty solid accuracy when sniping with the GM08, as you can see right here. Woo, I love this mouse, baby, let's go. Oh, you'd love to see it. All right, so moving on, we get to the headset, and this is yet another model from Nubwo, which you guys know I'm a big fan of, and this one specifically is the U3. This super budget gaming headset feels pretty sturdy with some smooth textured plastic. Honestly, it's kind of similar to the mouse I just talked about, and it sounds pretty good for the price. The directional audio was fine for this cheap of a headset, but it was definitely lacking in bass during explosions and gunfire, if that's something you're interested in. As far as comfort goes, I do wish that the ear pads were just a little bit thicker. I can actually feel my ears hitting the inside of this ear cup, but that's sometimes what you'll see with this budget of a gaming headset. For the microphone, I'm not a huge fan of the aesthetics as it's big and bulky, but that's definitely personal preference, so I'll leave that up to you. And for those of you that need a sound quality of it, I got you covered. Mic check one, headshot one. Mic check two, headshot two. Let's go, baby. This Nubwo U3 comes in at just $15, so honestly, no matter how good it is, you're at least getting some value there. But if you're looking for an option that's just a tad bit better, I would recommend the Nubwo N7, which I've talked a lot about on this channel. Moving on, we get to the keyboard, and this one I've also talked about quite a lot as well, but this was just too perfect to not include it in this specific setup. This is the Red Dragon K552, specifically the only red RGB option, which usually comes in around $30, and this is definitely one of the best options around this price point, especially if you're looking for a 10 keyless design, which is my personal preference. Over the last six months or so, and across all of my budget full PC gaming setup videos, just like the one that you can check out up here, I've honestly been using the K552 as my benchmark for any keyboard between like $30 and $40 because I really just can't find one that beats it. Like I said, this is the only red RGB option, but they do have full RGB boards available and there's even an all white model on Amazon, which looks pretty sick as well. Next up is the monitor and this is where we'll truly see how budget of a setup this is. This is the Scepter E205W, which is a 20 inch 1600 by 975 hertz panel and it sells on Amazon for around $70 to $80. Yep, this isn't even 1080p as it's only 900p, but to be honest, that's not a huge difference there and it can save you a bit of money. I'm really a fan that it's 75 hertz though. I've said multiple times over the last year that I think this is becoming the new standard and you can definitely get a little competitive with this monitor if you're on a super tight 
budget. The Scepter E205W does have some pretty cheap build quality though, and the stand doesn't have like almost any adjustability, but this is kind of a good thing because it means that all of the budget went towards the actual display, and it does look pretty good for the ridiculously low price point. And finally, before getting into the gaming PC, we have the mouse pad, and this is just a simple red and black XL design pad from a brand called Hoka Lee? Hoka -Lo? I don't know, and I picked this up for $15. It's got a pretty nice length at 31 and a half by 12 inches, and I really like the aesthetic design towards the right hand side and how it's nice and clean over on the left hand side where the keyboard is. I'm certainly not a fan of the basic AF font branding they did here on the corner, but other than that, I'm really digging this for our setup. Before wrapping up the peripheral section, I do want to let you guys know that the ZTT Discord server now has a program called Community Peripheral Reviews, and I think a lot of you really need to know about it. The Discord is linked down in the description, by the way. This section of our Discord allows our community members to snap a pic and write their own review of a peripheral they either like or dislike. It then gets edited and posted from our moderator, Grex, and I've been loving seeing other people's opinions on some of these products. I feel like this is such a great creative outlet for some of you. Before I started ZTT, I always wanted to share my opinion on products and review things and whatnot, but I just never had a platform to do it. Now that the ZTT Discord server has over 17,000 members, you definitely have a platform to share on. With that out of the way, we gotta wrap things up with this gaming PC. And like I said in the intro, I did already upload an entire dedicated video on this thing, and you can check it out in the upper right hand corner, and it's linked down in the description. In that video, I talk about the entire parts list, I did a massive benchmarking run with 10 different games, and I even show you how I did this specific aesthetic design with the vinyl wrap. Someone at the vinyl company actually reached out and said, hey, we actually love your videos, and we're glad to see that somebody is using this vinyl wrap for something other than a car. We would love to send you a huge care package of stuff, so needless to say, we have a lot of vinyl content coming soon, stay tuned. Anyways, as you can see, this build was made out of a slightly newer style of Dell Optiplex. Inside it's rocking an Intel i5-6500, which is actually pretty powerful, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, and I threw in a GTX 1050 and 500GB SSD to go along with it. All of this only cost me around $250 for some quick benchmarks in Rainbow Six Siege and 1080p medium settings it gets 131fps, CSGO in 1080p Pro settings gets 182 Fortnite in 1080p Pro settings got 121 FPS, Valorant in 1080p low got 139, and finally Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War in 1080p with the lowest settings got 68 FPS. Be sure to let me know what you think about this setup down below and what you would do to change it. Also, feel free to click the video that's on the screen now and that'll give you another example if you're looking for some more ideas for your budget setup guide. And just like always, I hope you enjoyed this video.